Comte de Rochefort is a secondary fictional character in Alexandre Dumas d'Artagnan romances. He is described as around 40 or 45, fair with a scar across his cheek. In The Three Musketeers, known throughout the novel as The Man from Mung, his first appearance is in the opening chapter of The Three Musketeers. He insults D'Artagnan and steals his letter of recommendation to Monsieur Treville, causing D'Artagnan to swear revenge. He reappears from time to time as the story progresses. D'Artagnan regularly sees Rochefort and tries to catch him, however, he vanishes into the street corner crowds of Paris, skillfully, and D'Artagnan never gets to actually meet him again and learn his name until the end of the novel. It is Rochefort who kidnaps Constance Bonacer, and we eventually learn that he is the other main agent of Cardinal Richelieu. He is sent by Richelieu to escort Milady de Winter in some of her missions. At the end of the novel, Rochefort tries to arrest D'Artagnan for the Cardinal, who eventually orders the two men to become friends. In the epilogue, we learn that Rochefort, and an older and wiser D'Artagnan, have fought on three occasions, settled their differences and become friends. In Twenty Years After, Rochefort reappears in the sequel, Twenty Years After. After falling out of favor with Richelieu's successor Mazarin, he spends five years in the Bastille. When Mazarin dismisses him from service for being too old, he joins the side of the Frondeurs. He aids Athos in freeing the Duke of Beaufort, and reappears in the end at the right against Mazarin's return. Unable to recognize his friend in the chaos, D'Artagnan kills Rochefort, as he had predicted he would if they fought a fourth time. In other fiction, the Comte de Rochefort was the subject of an earlier novel, Ma Copyright Moise de MLCDR. Written in 1678 by Gatien de Cortilz de Sandres. Cortilz de Sandres also wrote Ma Copyright Moise de M. D'Artagnan. Dumas combined the two, replacing an aristocrat named Rosne from the D'Artagnan story with the Comte de Rochefort. A thug nicknamed Rochefort plays the role in the book The Club du Mar by Arturo Par copyright Res Revert. Rochefort is the narrator and protagonist of Mary Gentle's novel 1610, A Sundial in a Grave. Rochefort appears in Jason Zartira Wise 2008 graphic novel The Last Musketeer in which he colludes with the Emperor of Mars to invade Earth. Rochefort is an important character in The Cardinal's Blades a historical fantasy trilogy by Pierre Pevel set in the early 17th century. In film, in film Rochefort has been played by Ian Keith in both the 1935 and 1948 versions of The Three Musketeers. Christopher Lee in the 1973 movie The Three Musketeers, as well as the sequels The Four Musketeers and The Return of the Musketeers. Michael Wincott in the 1993 movie The Three Musketeers. David Schofield in the 2001 movie The Musketeer. Mads Mikkelsen in the 2011 movie The Three Musketeers. Film incarnations tend to depict Rochefort as a far darker character than in the novel, and often extend his role. D'Artagnan kills Rochefort in duel in The Four Musketeers, though he turns up alive in The Return in The Musketeers, only to die again in a gunpowder explosion intended for The Musketeers. The character suffers the same fate in the 1993 adaptation. In his three appearances as Rochefort, Christopher Lee wore an eye patch, intended to make the character look more sinister. The eye patch, a departure from Rochefort's appearance in Dumas' novel, was deemed striking enough to be retained in several other film adaptations. Wincott and Mickelson retained it in their portrayals, as did the cartoon series Dogtanian and the Three Muskhounds and the anime version. Tim Roth's Febra, the main villain of the Musketeer, also wears an eye patch. Dog Tanyana Yurosha Euro S. Rochefort has a scar on his forehead rather than his cheek. Throughout the series, the title character often calls him Black Moustache. Rochefort is said to appear in the second series of The Musketeers played by Mark Warren. He will replace Cardinal Richelieu as the show's antagonist. References